What's happening everybody? Marcus here with Next Level Recording. Thanks for checking out this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe, smash that notification bell so you know exactly when I'm posting new videos and let's get into it. Today, we're gonna be talking about automation and how it can get you clarity in your mixes. So you might be asking yourself, what is automation? Now automation is anything that you can write into your software or onto your console that the computer is gonna remember for the next time it plays back. Now when you play back, it's automatically gonna do those changes for you. And what that means is you're gonna ride the faders to turn something up or something down. You can pan something from left to right. You can do some EQ automation. And then the next time you play, you don't have to touch the faders because the computer already knows, hey, he wrote automation here and I'm gonna do those moves for you. Now here's a cool little fun fact. If you've ever heard the song Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen, you can actually hear some of the automation. Go to around 30 seconds and you'll hear the background choir singing little high, little low, and they're gonna pan from left to right. Now when they do, you'll hear a little click before they go left and a click before they go right. And what that is, is the pan on the console when they were doing automation. A lot of those old consoles from back in the 70s and 60s and 80s, they didn't have the knob for the pan they had more of a switch and you can only go left center and right so go listen to that see if you can hear it let me know in the comments and now you can tell your friends who maybe have listened to that song and they've never heard it before okay so you might be asking well how can automation get clarity in my mixes isn't that what eq is for Totally, EQ is totally for that and it's probably gonna be your best friend when it comes to getting the greatest amount of separation and clarity in your mixes. But if you wanna take it to the next level, automation is gonna be your best friend. Now one of the biggest differences I hear from a professional mix and an amateur mix is typically the amateur mix is static and you can really hear that in the outro chorus and almost 100% of the time, an amateur mix completely falls apart. Everything's fighting for space. Everything's trying to be huge in volume and EQ and whatever it might be. And it's just a wall of not good sound. Now you can use automation to your advantage here. And here's an example. In that outro chorus, maybe you have some guitars playing and you have a piano playing, but they're kind of fighting with each other, but you do like the balance of them. Now, in part of the piano performance, there's going to be a little run that the piano player recorded. Well, I want to hear that run. Well, in that specific spot, try turning down the guitars and turning up the piano so you highlight that little lick and then bring them back to where they were volume-wise. You can do the same type of thing with drums. Maybe there's a build going into the chorus where you can do a false crescendo and put your faders in touch mode and ride them up and turn them up and volume so you hear this big build and then when everything hits you bring them back down to where they were and when you do things like that your mix has a chance to breathe and it feels like it's alive and you can hear certain things because you're turning something down and turning something else up to highlight it or give room for something else maybe your lead vocal um, has this awesome background thing that you want to highlight well turn up those background vocals in that instance and then turn them back down so you're hearing all the little pieces of ear candy in the song and that's going to make clarity that's going to make your listener be excited about what they're hearing there's going to be movement and your song isn't just going to be sitting there static with you know just kind of a boring sad um you know fight going on for space and then you're just kind of like oh and now the song ends and you know maybe you're the type of mixer who oh i love how the first verse sounds i love how the chorus sounds but as everything gets added into the song the end of my mix just falls apart and I'm not sure what to do about it. Automation is your best friend in this particular instance. You can have a great balance of everything, but when everything's playing together, everything's gonna fight automate things, move things up, move things down, pan them left and right, turn up a reverb, turn down a delay, anything that you can imagine to get your song to move and get separation is gonna be your best friend. Now that's gonna be it for me on automation. Use it in your next session. Let me know how it goes for you in the comments and let me know what you think the biggest difference is from before you started using automation to after you started using automation. Don't forget to like this video, hit subscribe, smash that notification bell so you get notified when I post new videos and I'll catch you guys next time.